Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a ball bounce in After Effects, uh, which has I'm going to loop this one. Okay, so you can see that the ball is bouncing, squishing and stretching. It is rolling. There's a shadow, and there's motion blur. So we are going to look at how to tackle the issue of uh, scaling the ball and rotating at the same time okay so we will go to after effects create a new composition it's 280 by 720 i use 24 frames per second the duration is uh, five seconds and i'm using a white background i will import an image of a ball so you can find any ball image that you like i'll drag that into the timeline here uh, and the ball seems to be big. So I'm going to scale it by 40% so it is small enough. So find a ball that is this size compared to the composition. All right. So we want the ball. Um, delete it and do it again because I want it exactly in the center. And make it 40%. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a null object and link the ball to the null object so that we can use the null object for the position and the scale and then we will actually rotate the ball itself uh, for the rotation that way we can get a good squish and stretch and the roll as well so we'll go to la uh, layer new null object okay and you can see that the null object is exactly in the center and what we will do is we'll move the null object at the base so that is where it is going to scale from all right now i'm going to link the ball to the null object okay so when you move the null object the ball moves so now the ball is going to be up in the air all right, and then open the position key, right click and separate dimensions, deselect, create a keyframe for Y when the ball is up in the air. After 12 frames, the ball stays in air and at frame number six, the ball will hit the ground. Okay, slightly above the base so that we can add a shadow there. All right, so now we have the movement for the ball. The ball is moving up and down. I'll sim simply select this key, shift select the last key, right click and say keyframe assistant, easy ease. All right, so now the ball is going to have some weight. All right, so that's one principle of animation cover, which is slow in and slow out. So showing the weight. Uh, at the top the ball is moving slow and as it hits the ground it picks up speed okay now we will copy and paste these keys five times so i'll select ctrl c and last keyframe ctrl v then i can select the whole thing ctrl c and ctrl v i'll select the last one ctrl c and ctrl v okay so now we have the animation repeating one, two, three, four, five times. All right. Now what we will do is we'll add a keyframe for the X position at the beginning and at the end. So at the beginning, the ball will be here and in the end, We'll move the ball here. Okay. So let us look at how to make this ball bounce less and less every time. Because the ball will lose velocity because of friction. Right. So we'll go to graph editor, select the Y position, and you can see the keyframes. I'll select all the keys. And I'm going to hit the shift and alt key on the keyboard. And drag this up 
so you can see that the ball is bouncing less every time I'll do it one more time okay so I do it twice so that it really loses velocity every time okay now the speed is even throughout which doesn't look right so select the X position select this two keys and add easy ease and the second one we will simply move it up okay so we get this curve here and then if you play it now the ball is moving fast in the beginning and then it slows down towards the end all right now we want squish and stretch so i'm going to hit the shift s key close the graph editor and now we will add scale keys frame number first frame then the second one then again in the air again when it hits the ground again in air again when it hits the ground okay and we will ignore the this bounce maybe this bounce also we will add one more and no more after that okay that's good enough so when the ball bounces for the first time we will squish it by 120 actually 80 and it's linked so we'll unlink it and then make it 120 and make this 80 okay the second bounce it will be 110 and 90 and the third bounce will be one to five and ninety five okay so we will add strips stretch now so 120 and 80 becomes 80 and 120 okay after the bounds 80 and 120 then after here it will be 90 and 110 and after the bounce 90 and 110 and here it will be 95 one zero here will be ninety five one zero five and there's no bounce here and here we'll play this now okay so the ball bounces and squishes and stretches less and less every time now the last step is to add rotation so we'll add the rotation you can see the null object has x y and scale now we'll open the rotation for the ball itself add rotation keys and then you can i rotated it around one time so you can see that the ball is rotating So we need the same curve for the rotation of the ball. So we'll select both the keys, add easy ease, and drag this up. Okay. So the ball also rotates less as it goes. If you want more rotation to the ball, you can close this. 
and add more rotation. Okay. All right, and the last step is to add motion blur. Okay, and now to create the ground, we will create an ellipse. So we will find the ground here. Okay, and we'll create an ellipse. Squished, squished ellipse. We will add the, the Y key and move the center of the ellipse. The middle is okay, so this is going to be the shadow. I used a bluish color tinge to the shadow. can use any color you want for the shadow we will name it shadow open the opacity and the opacity will be at 20 percent or 40 percent darker blue Okay, so we will again open the P key for position, separate dimensions, X key, control C, only X key, and at the last keyframe, the shadow will move. Okay. And uh, again, the movement key has to match the ball X key. So we'll add easy ease and select this and move up. Okay, so the ball is bouncing and the shadow is there. You can animate the shadow. So what you can do is, I'll make this big. Okay, lift U key so you can see all the keys. And when the ball is in air, shift S for the scale, and we will make it. 50% when the ball is in air, 100% when it hits the ground. Okay. Here it will be 60% when it hits the ground, 100%. Again, here it will be percent all right so now here we used 50 here is 60 here it should be 70 100 here eighty. Hundred. We can leave it hundred later on. Okay, so it gives an illusion of height. 
as the shadow becomes big and small. Okay, and the last step is to export the movie. So we'll go to and keep it a little longer, I guess. Go to file, export, add to render queue, uh, ball bounce, runner, ball bounce, and roll. Here we will use quick time MPEG 4 compressor. Okay, best settings, no changes, render it. Okay, and the movie is done. It's called Ball Bounce and Roll. Open with Quick Time. View half size. And that's what we get. Okay, thank you for watching.